वेलकम गाइस दिस इज ट्वेंटी थर्ड क्वेश्चन ऑफ नेट दिसंबर 2018 इट्स अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द पार्ट बी ऑफ द क्वेश्चन पेपर सो लेट अस रीड द क्वेश्चन सपोज एक्सएन इज अ सीक्वेंस ऑफ रियल नंबर सो वी हैव एक्सएन अ सीक्वेंस ऑफ रियल नंबर सेटिस्फाइंग द फॉलोइंग ओके सो योर सीक्वेंस सेटिस्फाइंग दिस क्राइटेरिया सो दिस क्राइटेरिया इज सेटिस्फाइड बाई योर सीक्वेंस what is this criteria that for every epsilon greater than 0 there exist n not okay n not is a natural number such that the difference between the consecutive term of the sequence is less than epsilon for all n greater than n not now you have to uh, check about something about the sequence that whether it is bounded or not whether it is cauchy or not cauchy but not bounded not uh, convergent not necessarily bounded okay so first of all i will define what is a cauchy sequence so this is the definition of a cauchy sequence okay so a sequence xn is called cauchy if for every epsilon greater than 0 there exists a natural number n not such that xn plus m minus xn is less than epsilon for all n greater than n not and for all m greater than one okay not for all for m greater than 1 so you can choose m to be anything so if a sequence is cauchy okay let us say that the sequence xn is cauchy and choose m to be 1 okay you choose m to be 1 that xn plus 1 minus xn is less than epsilon okay so if you have if you are given with that x is xn is a cauchy sequence then your the result written above will already true okay that i what i am saying that, that put just m is equal to 1 here what you are getting you are getting the previous statement that is given in the question that mean cauchy imply this statement but this statement need not imply cauchy you have to check that whether this statement imply cauchy or not okay so i will use a theorem here to show that whether this statement implies cauchy or not okay so what is that theorem so this video will also consist of two part one part will directly contain the solution and the another part will uh, will have a proof of whatever theorem i am using here okay so what this theorem says that in the field of real number in the field of real number real number a sequence xn is cauchy if and only if xn is convergent okay so i am assuming that you must know the uh, the definition of convergence of a sequence because you are studying a question of real analysis then you must know the definition of convergence i am not writing it here you can just refer to any book you will get the definition of convergence so in the field of reals a sequence xn is cauchy if and only if xn is convergent okay so you are given with a sequence that is already in the in, in the set of reals okay so your xn is in real so you can use this theorem because it satisfies this criteria so if i show that this sequence the sequence that satisfies this criteria which uh, which is written in the question if i show that this criteria uh, the sequence that is written here is convergent then i can say that this sequence is cauchy and if i show that this sequence is divergent which satisfies this criteria then it cannot be cauchy because this theorem says that this statement is if and only if it is correct from both the direction okay if xn is convergent then xn is cauchy and if xn is cauchy then xn is convergent okay now come back to the question whatever we need we have just written it down here now what is your sequence your sequence satisfies this criteria that xn plus 1 minus xn is less than epsilon okay now just i am using just a counter example okay a one counter example will discard every option and you will get the correct one so just take xn as this sequence 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by n so this is your sequence okay so you see if you put x1 okay i will write it here what is your x1 x1 is 
what is your x2 x2 is 1 plus 1 over 2 what is your x3 it's 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 okay so it progresses like this so this is your sequence now i will just introduce another theorem here okay so that is uh, generally uh, that is uh, generally known as, uh, known as the archimedean property so what is archimedean property you have to understand okay so what archimedean property says that if you have two numbers that are greater than 0 and belonging to r so if you have two positive numbers then what archimedean say that then there exist a n naught belonging to naturals such that your n a is greater than b okay so this is the archimedean property that i am writing here so by this archimedean property i choose i choose your a as epsilon and your b as 1 that means you will get a natural number n naught such that n dot of epsilon is greater than 1 that means you will get a natural number such that 1 by n naught is less than epsilon okay so this is the conclusion that i can make from the archimedean property that for every epsilon greater than 0 okay what is epsilon epsilon is greater than 0 so every epsilon for every epsilon greater than 0 i can get a natural number n naught such that 1 over n naught is less than by one over n naught is less than epsilon okay now everything we needed uh, is written here okay now just come back to the question i have taken xn as this sequence okay so i am just calculating the difference between two terms okay between two terms of the sequence what you are getting you will get 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 1 over okay uh, i'm using n naught for us i'm just using n naught here okay uh, okay so sorry i will just use n okay first of all i will use n minus not minus one minus one minus one over two minus one over n so what you are getting you are getting one over n plus one okay so you are getting one over n plus one here that means the difference between your two term is equal to 1 over n plus 1 okay now by the archimedean property okay by the archimedean property this is also a natural number okay so this is also a natural number n plus 1 is also a natural number so by the archimedean property you are getting a natural number that is less than epsilon okay for every epsilon greater than 0 you are going to get a natural number that means that your xn plus 1 minus xn is less than epsilon whenever your n your n that is written here is greater than some n naught okay we don't know what what n naught for what n naught this will happen but by archimedean property you are getting a assurance that it will happen after some n naught that your xn plus 1 minus xn is less than epsilon because this is a natural number and after some n naught you are getting this so this sequence that i have written here satisfies this criteria okay now you see that your sequence satisfies the criteria given in the question now i have something to say here now what you say is that xn is summation 1 over n n goes from 1 to n okay so this is your xn so if your n tends to infinity what will be your xn xn will be summation n to the power 1 to the power 1 over n okay so you see if n goes to infinity your sequence looks like this so you have to talk now convergence of this sequence okay not sequence this series okay if n tends to infinity your sequence become a series so you know a p test okay okay now you you i will write a p test here for this convergence of a sequence what is p test it says that if your sequence is of the form 1 over n to the power p if p is less than 1 equal to 1 then your series 
diverges diverges to infinity okay so you you get your sequence like this summation n n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 over n now your p test says that if your p is less than 1 then this type of sequence automatically diverges okay this is a p test that you must have uh, studied in your series part in the series part so you see your action is going to diverge because your action satisfies this criteria because you in the in your case p is 1 that means this action is going to infinity so if n goes to infinity your action also goes to infinity that means your sequence actually diverges so if your sequence diverges then from the note that i have written here that xn is cauchy if and only if it is convergent so if xn is not convergent that will imply xn is not cauchy okay so you get your result that xn is not cauchy so your a option may be correct bounded but not necessarily cauchy convergent not necessarily bounded okay now just remember one thing if a sequence is divergent and it goes to infinity can it be bounded no it cannot be bounded because a divergent sequence is always unbounded or you can say a sequence is cauchy okay uh, i will just made a statement i will put it like this way that if xn is a sequence which is cauchy then it is automatically bounded okay you must remember this statement if xn is a sequence that is cauchy then it must be bounded so you see from here that your xn is divergent that means it cannot be cauchy that means it cannot be bounded so your a option is false because it cannot be bounded and it cannot be cauchy it cannot be convergent because it goes to infinity by your p test your p test says that now it cannot be cauchy so your b option is also false so what option we are left with you we are left with the option d that it is not necessarily bounded because you know that this sequence is going to infinity that's why it is not bounded so by using this single counter example you got your answer so thank you guys and just wait for the part b i will just prove these things whatever i have written here whatever statement i have made this one and this one i will prove it it in the next part and i will give a link for that video in your description of this video so thank you guys